about it, guys. I'm like so nervous, seriously. I was talking to my wife and my daughter both about it. I feel kind of sick to my stomach. Week 95. Ugh. No, we're not losing anyone at the end. Zero deaths. If we lose someone in Dark Dungeon 4, we start over. The way around it is to two-man it. You'll see it tonight. I'm going to two-man it from the beginning. That means we start Dark Dungeon 4 with only two heroes. <sighs> so nervous now you're playing. How do you make her? Welcome back, Ling Linguini, Phantasma, Delta. As they truly are. My heart's like starting to beat fast. Uh, I'm out of tea, so I'm drinking another one of these game fuels. I didn't can. Welcome back. Unsight. What? What's wrong? Okay. It's literally the first day of summer break. Emma, you know what I mean? Get it, please. <laughs> Ugh. Start the run over if you lost here? Yes. I would start again. What? No. <laughs> uh, welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Grant thank you. I'll thank you again in a second. One second. You, my friend. Carl Sanders, I'll thank you again in a second. For excellent. One moment. I'm back. Bored. I do I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. Colonel Sanders. Bye, I love you. Colonel Sanders, thank you for the 613 sub. Half a year. Hey, Colonel Sanders. Welcome back. Grunt work. 11 months. Tier 2. Silver. <laughs> the Silver Sub Club. The Carbonite Sub. Love the sandwiches to Sanders in Grunt work. Thank you, guys. How much headspace Dark Sergeant had? Yeah, a lot. A lot. I've been thinking about it a lot. Um, I know what I'm going to do for everything. I'm pretty sure. I'm back, Razzie. I do a pilot wash. So the thing is, I told her, like, I don't know, like 30 minutes before the stream, I was like, all right, so I have this really hard thing to do, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, uh, let me know if you need anything now, or you can ask, you know, your mom uh, when I'm doing the stream. But, you know, don't come in here while I'm streaming tonight, unless, you, unless it's like an emergency. If you need anything, tell me now. Oh, no, everything's good. Everything's good. I get in here, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting down for two minutes. And then she comes in, she's like, can you go find a movie for me and hook up the movie player and... <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway. She'll be okay. She only has a million other things to do. Got this? Alright. Alright, guys. So. Let's get it. Why was I worried about stress relief? I don't know what I was thinking. Um, when you beat a Darkest Dungeon, you stress heal the entire town. I completely slipped my mind last night. Pwn, thank you for the lurk. Back last night from work. Ooh. Sorry, Pilot Wash. I was wondering why you were here early. I mean, I'm glad. <laughs> Not that you got hurt, but I mean, you know what I, you know what I mean. By the way, see conversation with your 20 year old kids sometimes? I don't doubt it. Alright, Kaiser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Kaiser. My heart's like beating fast, guys. Holy cow. Bladed Wolf. So ridiculous. Like I said, it's not, you know, it's a game, but I've spent a lot of hours getting to this point. Like, this is the culmination of maybe a year of work, of, of playing, but still, you know, it's, it's real time. It's real time. All right. Got Tums? No, I don't. Is the whole stream? Yeah, man. Hopefully you're all right, though. Palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. Vomit on my Street Fighter shirt already. Chinese and not spaghetti. Uh, someone mentioned my uh, my Street Fighter shirt, by the way. Uh, sorry, I missed it. Is that a Street Fighter 2 shirt? Because you're going to Dark Dungeon 2? I'm going to say yes. How you doing, Sin? This is the team we're going with. Let me uh, make sure they have everything. We want every option available to us. Gold isn't a problem at the moment. Never going to worry about gold in this run again. I know I'm not going to use Solo or Harvest, but, you know, you know, let's have the options. Let's have the options. That's not even who we're taking. 
Uh. All right, we got all of our five upgrades. I've been thinking about this a lot, a lot today. I've already determined which path I'm going to take in the second dungeon. Um, I'll explain a little bit about the second dungeon as we start it up and as we go through it. But I've already made my decision on which path I'm taking. Dead. How you doing, Headless? Save yourself for playing so much. Only played about 500 hours. Get bored of it pretty easily. It's the challenge, I think. It's the challenge because we always do a. If I I I recently did a just Blood Moon run, all boss, but but no light, and I kind of agree that I, I was like just going through the motions. Part of it is having people to hang out with and talk while I'm doing it. Um, part of it is the challenge, and part of it, of course, is like. I do this kind of as a job, right? It's a fun job, but it's still a job. So, I mean, like, um, a teacher teaching the same history lesson over and over, you know, uh, every single semester to multiple classes all day long, they're probably sick to death of saying these things. They say the same thing over and over. They might still enjoy history, but, you know, you do it because it's a job. So, and part of you has to still love it, you know? And to replace it, am I nervous? Very, how are you doing, Vulture? Worst case scenario is lose everything. Chat gets spammed with Fs. Question your life choice. No need to stress. Explain how hunger works. <sighs> Alright. So. Kaiser is ready to go. Senior Low. I'm going to take Bleed instead of Wicked Slice. The reason why is because Open Veins also reduces speed. And that might be very important. Uh, we might choose to use that over Duelist Advance sometimes if it means we can slow a Priest down and get them to not use the Finger next round. Um, so I am going to switch that in. Otherwise, they're good to go. This disease doesn't matter. It's just spasm the entrails, and they're not going to be using healing skills um, while they're camping. So these are fine. We will switch in Finale for the mini bosses in place of Slice Off. But for right now, that's fine. Camping's good. We'll get trinkets, of course. Yeah, Ashcore, we only have the final three left. This is the hardest thing in the game, I, I believe. I've had Darkest Dungeon 2s, even in Torchless, that went very well. I've had them go, and we end, the, we end the whole thing with maybe 20 stress on each person. I've also lost runs in the Darkest Dungeon. In Darkest Dungeon 2, I've had po full party wipes. Uh, I've had heart attacks. I've had everything in between. Darkest Dungeon 2 is one of the... Most difficult and most RNG parts of the game, I think. And uh, here we are. Even if we beat this one, I mean, when we beat this one, uh, the next two dungeons can also kill us, of course. Think of your latest picture you're working on. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to, to go through all of Discord. Today was grocery day, first day of spring or summer break for my daughter. I'll have to look at it dark. I didn't get a chance to really look at it today or look at Discord really at all, aside from right before the stream. Sounds like diarrhea, probably. Or doesn't have torch yet. Yeah. That is true. And you know what? Darkest Dungeon 3 isn't too bad if you know the map. Because uh, even though the cell fight, and if you know, know the fight, the cell fight can be scary. But the, the giant cyst really doesn't have high crit chance. I don't know what the percent crit is, but it seems to have one of the lowest crit chances in the game. It might even be lower than, like, the Apprentice Necro. I don't know. Um, it... it I maybe get crit once or twice on the cis fights throughout all of Darkest Dungeon 3. Now that doesn't mean you can't lose Darkest Dungeon 3, but uh, I feel the cis fight itself isn't too bad. It's just, it's just a long, it's a marathon um, of trying not to get teleported. But it, it seems to have a pretty low crit chance, which is, you know, one of the main things that um, can screw you over in these. That, that's a big RNG factor. You got back-to-back -back crit by the cyst? What's the crit on the cis? Uh, I'm talking about it's, it's uh, single target attack. It's like tongue attack. Does anyone know what the crit chance is on the tongue attack from the cyst? Gonna lose? Oh no, please don't. Please don't. The cyst, uh, it's the bosses in Dark Engine 3. The giant eye thing that's attached to the ceiling. You're powerful, we will win. I tested my resolve last night and I actually got a virtue. I'm gonna keep that virtue. I'm not gonna test it tonight. All right. Now, people that are going to Darkest Dungeon 3, I need to make sure they don't need to go to the Sanitarium. They do. We need to get rid of Clumsy. Uh, 
Nothing to get rid of on Yokaz. Nothing on Big Time Zombie. Who's our other Darkest Dungeon 3 person? Fluffkins. Everything's melee on them, so that doesn't matter either. Okay. Anything on our DD4 people? No. No. Dark Dungeon 1 went really well. Really, really well. I went slowly and thought out like every single attack and we got very good RNG. I used every single recovery fight I could to get back down to zero. Stress, I mean all the... Even with all that, we still had someone get to 99 stress. Trinkets? Oh yeah, no worries. I'm going to do that for sure. <sighs> okay. Trinkets. So, one of the main mechanics of this is that we have to take the Talisman of the Flame. Uh, so it only has a 3%. Yeah, that, isn't that crazy? The Giant Cyst, one of the final bosses in the game, only has a 3% crit chance. Uh, what, is, what is Apprentice, Apprentice Necromancer's crit? 150 Blight chance, though. Holy Water is going to help a lot. Uh, we have the upgraded Holy Water, which is nice. So the Talisman of the Flame, we have to put on three of our heroes. Huh. Bulging Gaze is zero. Yeah, like I said, he doesn't crit very much. Hmm. I'm thinking about whether I should put the, f the third flame on our Jester or our Vestal. I didn't think about that. So, our Jester has the lowest health. So, he needs more trinkets to offset that. Now, if I use the flame on our Jester, we're going to guard the Vestal, yes. Or whoever doesn't have the flame. We're going to guard whoever doesn't have the flame. Obviously, we're going to put a flame on the front, too, no matter what. Main arms, makes sense, yeah. Yep, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, Alright, let me pull down trinkets that we might use here. So, me and arms, I can use either of those. Uh, the heart we might end up using on someone. Oh, did I not unequip those? Okay, right. Talismans, let's put those on first. I might end up using the heart on someone. Let's go ahead and pull that down. Uh... Over his flag will absolutely take. It's not a ton of, st well, there's a little stun. Not a ton, I would say, but there is stun. We're gonna take the ancestor's code on someone. Hey, Beerberry, welcome in. Um, uh, <laughs> How you doing, Reaper, by the way? Just to they become powerful, courageous, focused, vigorous, and stalwart. <laughs> Let's hope so. Um. We might take Barrison's head. It's a maybe. I have taken it before to this. Overture box, we might take. Uh, feather crystals, I'm not going to take. Camo cloaks are, or I mean, uh, moo cloaks are a maybe. We know we're going to at least take one scroll on the Vestal. Uh, her class scroll. All right, keep guard on the Vestal. Yes, I, yeah, I already planned to do that. The Man at Arms is basically going to have um, Wilbur's flag, so he has dodge and stun resist. That way, we we don't have to worry about him getting um, him getting stunned and not being able to guard. Basically, leave soon. Don't want to miss the action. These runs recorded. Yes, uh, as soon as they happen. In fact, it's being recorded right now. You can click on VODs or videos above. And you could even go back and see the beginning of this stream already. They're immediately available on under videos, and then we'll have them on YouTube soon, too. Earlier today. Hey, thank you, Barbarian. Yeah, it was a really good one. No problem, Ashcore. Okay. So we have Deadly and Precise Striker, so we and Hard Noggin, so that's very good. Um, Repost is going to carry us a lot. Yeah, it will be, Morph. Chrome, 
almost in the top thousand. They were those hours. 266 Snowblind. So, 43 health. I have to take Overture, he Overture here, basically. So he's at 41 health with Overture. And Talisman. He's at 48 dodge, 58 with the Man at Arms um, bolster, 68 with camp as well. So 68 dodge. We could boost dodge up, but that would lose a lot of health. Don't think it's worth it. Or, yeah. I don't think so. I think we really need that health. The other option would be to put the heart on him. Um, I don't know. The thing is, the finger is the deadliest thing in this dungeon, really. I mean, obviously the mini-bosses are going to be deadly, but the the finger... I mean, that, is, that ends runs all the time. Uh, I've had many, many runs ended and people dead because of crit fingers back-to-back. -back. So, are they more likely to hit the Jester or the Vestal? Um... The Vestal is more likely to get stress on her because she has lower dodge and they tend to target high stress people with a finger it seems. So I think I'm going to put the heart on her. The real scary part is just our Jester's health. Hi Dan Prune, welcome in. Hi I'm in a lot. Say heart or dodge. Yeah, I mean I'm going to go dodge, it's just a matter of which dodge trinket I'm going to use. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use Mooncloak. Because he's going to get hit by Lash a lot as well. So if he ends up uh, with a Mooncloak, he'll be at 60 dodge. Mooncloak plus, plus buffs, 60 dodge, that's not bad. Plus 15% protection. Man at Arms will be at 61 dodge. That's good. And stun resistant, also 61 health. Using the heart? Yeah, probably. But on the Vestal, yeah. Time to use the Ancestor's Bottle. <laughs> I do it, Matt. But not the herbs. <laughs> 15% max health. 15% max health. Alright. This is the trinket setup I was thinking about earlier tonight. And I'm pretty sure this is what I'm going to go with. Let me just go back through it. It's very important. Like I said, this is like culmination of a thousand hours i've played the game for almost two, streamed it for almost 2000 but we really started doing torchless uh blood moons about a year ago clotter hippocratic okay so she's got extra healing she has hippocratic so we don't really need the second healing trinket anyway um how you doing young welcome in flesh's heart to protect her from finger this is the really scary point I mean, what's her HP without the heart? 44. That's not really that much better. Uh, she also has Clotter. Uh, we did Dark Session 1 last night. We're about to do the second one now. She has Clotter. She's basically not going to bleed. Even if they crit, even if they crit her, she's basically going to have a 5% chance to bleed. NyQuil, good swear you woke up enough in your haze here that you used the heart last night. Yes, I did use the heart. Again, on the Vestal. Because she's Hippocratic. And to protect from the finger. Jester's dodge, yeah. It's, it's going to be really good. He's going to have 48, uh, 58, 68 dodge. 68 dodge. Ship has come. <laughs> and this one's going to have 60 dodge. And this one's going to have 61 dodge. I think this is what I'm going to go with. Okay, starting skills. We're going to use bolster at the beginning of every fight. So we're going to have a lot of dodge. Like I said, we're going to have, on average, 60 dodge. Enemies here probably have around 100 to 110 accuracy. So we should dodge about half or more. 50 to 60% of moves we should dodge. That's pretty good. Aside from our Vestal, who will dodge less. That's pretty good. Hopefully we dodge enough, you know. We're trying to put the luck on the enemy. You know, I've, I've been saying that a bit with, like, this late game. The more you can put the luck on the enemy to win, the better off you are instead of putting the luck on you to win. That makes sense. Thank you, Larkin. Uh, we definitely want guard the whole time, even outside the boss. Definitely the stun. 
crush to finish things off. I mean, repost is super good, but self-marking on some of these enemies is bad. We'll definitely use repost on the bosses themselves, though. Crush on the way to the boss, I think, is fine. Uh, repost is going to carry us a lot. Point blank shot, also very good. Open veins. Uh, I'm taking open veins over Wicked Slice, not just because of the bleed, because Wicked Slice has higher crit and does more damage, but open veins also debuff speed. And I really think that if we have a priest in like position two, and we can, and it's not going to die, and we can hit it with open veins so that next round it'll go after us, that might be a really important thing. Okay, so we look good there. Uh, I am going to start off with this setup in case there is like a priest up that we need to finish killing or something like that. Um, I will switch in finale for the bosses over slice off. Otherwise, we're good though. We're mainly going to be stress healing and, and buffing with them. And then we got both of our heals, a range pick off damage thing, and a stun. The stun's not going to be very um, very reliable with the trinket that we have, but I mean, 50% chance stun is still better than no stun. Hey turtles, you have many small turtles? <laughs> How doing turtles? With the hitching pose that can stun you. It does have, we're only going to end up fighting like one of those, yeah. <clears throat> so the route I'm going to take, I already know which route. There are basically two recovery fights in this. Uh, where there's two zombies. D2 prep, yep. Um... Hey, Cacophony, welcome back. How you doing, Cacophony? I think we're ready, guys. We got our healing trinket. We got the heart for resisting bleed. She's going to end Clotter. Man, she's not going to bleed. Even if they crit her with a finger, she only has like a 5% chance to bleed, which is incredible. The Jester is the scary point. Jester with 41 health, but he's going to have 68 dodge. He's got the talisman. Got the talisman. Now... We also brought the Night Owl uh, Man-at-Arms so that hopefully he can get the guard in before um, before they end up getting Revelation off. <sighs> I think you can. All right, let's do it. Yeah, we have every camping skill researched, and you can change them in the dungeon. We also already have the, the Dodge one equipped, which is our most important ones um, on both of them. So I don't forget So if anyone doesn't know, if you abandon what sickness, it's the one that makes his camping... Healing skills while camping is minus 20%, which he's not going to use. Uh, so for anyone that doesn't know, if you retreat... This is what this is saying. If you retreat from a darkest dungeon, someone just dies. So once we go in here, there's no... It's do or die, literally, for this kind of run. Hayden Rose, welcome in. Uh, hey, Neo, welcome back. Hey, dude, Neo. All the food, all the bandages, all the holy water. Two stacks of herbs. We gotta take all the antivenom. You don't need shovels in any of the darkest dungeons. You don't need torches. You don't need laudanum. I think that's it. Bugwam with optimal stats for PvP. All right. Obviously, we don't need torches. We don't need blood. We don't need the cure. Unfortunately, we don't have any shard dust. Keys, we don't need. There's no blockages in any of the darkest dungeons. So we don't need shovels. Obviously, we're not using torches. Laudanum. The, the post that has the stun, they are in here, but we're going to skip most of those. By the building. It, it doesn't do anything for this. I don't think there's a building that'll help us that we haven't already gotten. It, it, it's ambient stress relief back in town. Um, I'm pretty sure there's not anything that would help us that we can get. Healing while eating. I mean, we could maybe trade in for that. Let's see what we could actually trade to get. Is this a new version of Dark's Dungeon? No. Just all DLC. So we actually could trade to get that, and it might help us a little bit, right? Our food would heal us more out, or uh, when we're outside of combat. Puppet theater doesn't help us. Sanguin doesn't help us. We don't have quite enough to get the Outsider's Bonfire. That would help in Dark Dungeon 3 only. Minus 10% stress. I don't like the plus 2 speed. It's a little scary. 
Like, let's look at our speed. 5, 7, 11. Must not have the DLCs. Yeah, maybe not, if it looks different to you. Um, the Jester is already mostly going to go before everyone else. Which is a little scary because if he gets a death's door with a bleed or a blight, he might be screwed. But him having minus 10% stress might be worth. Because uh, enemies that do stress attacks are slightly more, well actually they're quite a bit more likely to hit someone that's already got stress on them. And if our Jester takes less stress, obviously that's less stress we have to heal, but also makes him less likely to get hit by another stress attack, and therefore, if there's a damage associated with that attack. Um, the only other one is the food to heal. Get one of those. Hey, R-squared. How's it going, R-squared? Big Grizz, welcome in. G-Pig, good to see you. By the way. 15% additional healing while eating, so we can eat outside of battle. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide which one to get. Healing outside of battles can be good because one of the things that can happen is that our Highwind has a repost up and then, you know, the last enemy crits him really hard, gets him to low health, and his repost kills him. We don't get a chance to heal with the Vestal. I think the Granary Cartographer's Camp gives you extra scouting, extra crit, extra chance to surprise enemies, and an extra chance at a loot roll. I'm going to get the Granary. Yeah, I think so too. Because of that exact situation I was just talking about. Repost is amazing. It's kind of overpowered. But that's one of those situations that Repost could uh, get us in trouble. Alright. <clears throat> How you doing, Spearman? Welcome in. Oh yeah, I, I'm super stressed out today. I've been thinking about this all day. Thinking about this all day. I mean, I was talking about the beginning of the stream. This is like the culmination of like a year, basically. You know? Tonight is do or die. <sighs> Alright. It shows on my face. <laughs> do I want to take the extra food over the herbs? Maybe. Well, yeah. I mean, that's it's a whole the whole challenge. It's a whole challenge. I've done it before. I've done. I've beat. That's what I have to keep telling myself. I've beaten Darkest Dungeon two, this dungeon, on Torchless Blood Moon, four times before. Four times before. But uh, none of it's spent. We've never spent this much time getting getting to this point. Obviously, we've never done this full challenge. Got all the food, we got all the holy water, all the bandages, all the antivenom, sack of medicinal herbs, shovels aren't used, keys aren't used, laudanum we don't care about, torches aren't used, no blood, no cure. I think we got it, guys. Anyone see that I'm missing anything? Like, I think we're good. We got all of our upgrades, got our trinkets, upgrades, trinkets, upgrades, trinkets. Upgrades, trinkets. <sighs> have we been on Radiant? No, I haven't. <laughs> How you doing, Ninja? Welcome in. Alright. Let's go. So after I hit this, if we run away, we lose. Uh... Thanks, Rocky Road. <laughs> My heart's like beating really fast. Has no name. I am grunt work. For it needs no language. Nevertheless, those who would submit to its word this will are rewarded in a fashion. The creature's blessings are as repulsive as they are robust. Twisted half human monstrosities stalk the flesh ridden halls, protecting their gestating god. I know, I'm out of tea though. <laughs> what else is there? Actually, I'm not. We just bought tea, but it's hot. You know, it's iced tea, but it's not chilled. Hi, don't you know? Hemuel. <laughs> Often tell dad jokes, they hardly ever last. <laughs> Hi, don't Hemuel. Got a tea. Well, I bought more today when we were grocery shopping. 
Oh yeah, this is our 20th attempt. This is not attempt number one. <laughs> hey, Blacky Chan. <laughs> See you, Blacky Chan, and Pineapple's not here. The darkness holds much worse. So, for anyone that doesn't know this, for anyone that doesn't know this dungeon, it's the hardest dungeon in the game, I feel. I think it's the most RNG with zero light. Uh, this dungeon is shaped kind of like a pyramid of squares, right? Well, like any pyramid. Um, there is three boss fights in here. I've already mapped out which way I'm going to go. There's two recovery fights. I need to save those recovery fights. So one of the recovery fights is right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bottom left and fight one of the one of the two of the easier mini bosses. And then because of the way the dungeon's set up, I'm going to go fight the hardest one second. And that leaves us this recovery fight after the second. All right. Madness made flesh. Last time we were here on a challenge like this, Support. this very first fight almost killed our Vestal. She went to death's door. All right, double priest. Let's get our buff going. Speed, accuracy, crit. Don't think about it. Hey, Tina George, twenty twenty four. Welcome back, Broken Wolf. Thank you for the good luck. Death Lash. That's what we want to see. Death Lash is a lot less damage, even if it crits, than the finger. We're gonna get bolster up. This is our one of our secret weapons. Bolster is like having an extra trinket. We have so many places taken up by Talisman of the Flame. Bolster is minus twenty percent stress and plus dodge. Okay. Good crit. Senior low. I do an L. Welcome in. Yeah. Thank you, Snowblind. Uh, we are gonna try to stun this one. Good crit. It's easy. Just always crit and always dodge. Thanks, Wayne. Simple. 14. We roll bottom end. 4 to 8. We have to crit to kill. Let's go ahead and try to stun this guard off. It also makes sure this one doesn't heal. Very good. We really need this kill. Please don't roll bottom end. Good. Thank you, Yankee. Do it, meh. How are you doing? Meh. I'm sorry, Al. There's a crit. It's a crit. But again, lash qu crit. Okay. I mean, I don't want a lash crit either, but it's not a finger crit. Oh, yeah. No, that's just me, Gar. I'll, I'll do that for sure. It also kind of helps me to stabilize a little bit. You know what I mean? This is DD2. It's the second of the four darkest dungeons. Yep. Let's get this stun in, hopefully. All right, get a repost back up. Quick question, does it a coldest crit heal also buff the chance to bleed the person being healed? Um, it may, I think it does, but I, here's what I know about it, Electronica. It makes the bleed last five rounds instead of three. So that tells me it does do the crit benefit or detriment in this case. So I imagine that the other part of that is true. I don't know 100%, but because it extends the bleed, I would also think that it increases the bleed chance of the crit, even though it's a positive. Oh, Senior Low. <laughs> Thank you, Senior Low. Now we can recover on this guy. Every single chance we get, we are recovering. It doesn't matter if we have two stress or 200. So as long as we do two damaging attacks per round, uh, it won't call on reinforcements. And trust me, we don't want reinforcements here. It reinforces with priests. Okay, 11 stress. So we're gonna hit it with two of our weakest attacks this round. There's one, we're gonna just shuffle here. I'm actually gonna heal up first. We can stall one round and we're okay. Yeah, we really don't want. All right, so we're going to, uh, we're gonna get all the stress off. Even if we crit, it doesn't kill him here. And this is what we have to do. Every single time there's a cultist, we have to keep it alive until the end, and we have to recover. If we do that every time, then all we have to worry about, uh, you know, is is the beginning of the next battle, the, w when the priests are still up, and that's it. And the bosses, but we'll, we'll, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. 
as they say. All right, we're recovered. We're recovered. So now we can kill it. Yeah, my palms are sweaty. All right. Let me think about how many fights, because we have two camps. Okay. So there's a recovery fight up here. There's a fight down here. There's the boss. One, two, three. There's a fight here. Four, boss, five. Fight here, six. Fight here, seven, eight. There's eight fights left. Uh, we'll camp after the next fight. People are saying it in their heads. <laughs> how you doing, Kaz? How you doing, Input? Start doesn't be much harder with the reinforcements. There are reinforcements. Uh, you can do exclamation the worst if you want to see it for yourself. But yeah, we're not going to let that happen. If we can help it. So we do this fight. This is the enemy that um, Matt was talking about earlier. This enemy is not too deadly. Uh, it has a high stun chance. Uh, it does have a pretty good bleed chance too, actually. But it doesn't hit for an insane amount of damage. The scary part is if it, if it stuns someone that's important for your survival. Okay, first finger. It did hit. Uh, we're going to try to stun this one. I don't know. It might be worth stunning here. I think so. We're going to go before this next round. And this one has just as much chance to be stunned as this one. And we don't want this to stun... It's not It's not going to stun our man-at-arms, but... Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to stun this one. Play through and your main strategy is basically to mass an army. Men of arms, possible. Run four level six man-at-arm comps. Works. Hey, Phoenix. It's good to see you. How you doing, Phoenix? Are you feeling any better? Malignant growth. Oh, we missed it. Death Lash. That's what we want to see. Good crit repost. Okay, he dodged. That's alright. So, Bolster. This is our secret weapon. Don't want to miss this. Thank you, Phoenix. I'm sorry you haven't felt well. So, even though this is going to kind of screw us up with repost, you have to kill the priests. Yeah. Oh, it resisted. R squared. Yay. Here comes bits to ward off the crits. Thank you, R squared. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see if we can stun this one. Christ, man. <gasps> it's a Christmas miracle. These can crit for around 34 damage plus bleed. I think I have to AoE heal, but I mean, there's no... There's no... There's no amount of health that we have over here that can go against double crit finger. Hey, Scorpios, how's it going? I think I'm going to AoE heal. Because we need to get both of them high enough to where they can survive a single finger crit, basically. Oh, good crit. Wrong person, but we'll take it. Death Lash is what we want to see. Do uh, dodges even better. Just don't want to see the finger. There we go. Death Lash. All you want. It crit, don't even care. I'd rather get crit by death lash than have a non-crit finger, to be honest. Stun, that's really bad. Um, We need to get one of these dead, big time. So I'm going to switch from buffing to try to kill it. Now, that doesn't mean it's dead. This is a mistake I've made before. So, this can heal it, right? So, we need to finish this off with our man-at-arms. We need a good heal here. This is Blood Moon, the hardest difficulty in the game. It's Blood Moon. It's, um, there, there you go. There's information for Blood Moon. Thank you, Phoenix. And then Exclamation Torch List will give you even more information. Uh, both of these have the same crit chance. So it doesn't matter which one we use. Crit. Torchless Blood Moon, uh, second of four darkest dungeons. Okay. 
Oh man, another crit lash. About to break. It's DLC difficulty, yeah, Crimson Court difficulty. Okay, we need to kill this one big time. Thank you. Thank you, Senior Low. We're basically safe now. Basically. I mean, this one can still crit, but I don't think it can crit enough to uh, to kill us. So we're going to start on the track to recovery here. Inspiration and improvement. In fact, I'm going to try to stun this one. Good, 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 good. <sighs> oh, so good. <laughs> crit heal. Thank you, cat. Appreciate you. So I'm gonna just move forward. Stress heal here. We're gonna try to stun this off. And we're gonna recover. So we only attacked once this round, so that was a stall round. We can't do that again. 17. They might crit for more than I remembered. So that means it's gonna crit for like, let's say its top end is like 18-ish. So it can actually crit for like 27. I gotta keep that number in mind. So we, we can get crit by this for about 27. Down to 10. We heal. That sucks. Hopefully he hits into the repost. There we go. Oh, dodged. Good resist though. Yeah, heal yourself. That's fine. It's actually good. We want him to survive quite a bit. Uh, all right. There's one hit for the round. This should kill him. Man, what is his dodge? He's only 19. Okay, now we recover. 50 hours, never try playing Zero Light. Uh, I've streamed the game for almost 2,000 hours. Um, so I, I have a lot of time spent. And now we recover. As long as we hit him twice per round. Just be it'll look easy, even though it definitely isn't. Oh, no worries, Phantom. If you have any um, questions from a beginner standpoint or any questions, by all means let me know. I'm not an elitist at the game. I do these crazy challenges because I enjoy them and it keeps the game fresh for me. But uh, even if you play on Radiant with mods to make it easier or you do this or anywhere in between, as long as you're enjoying the game. Um... I'm very, so throughout these dungeons, I am going to basically really, really, really think out every single action. Because if I make a mistake on this, it could just, it could end what was the culmination of like a thousand hours. Play with the druid, druid and the monk. Enjoy them. Hey Han, welcome in. Yeah, there are definitely mods that make it easier. That's what I'm saying. Like, but I don't mind. Play, play with them if you want. You know what? It's a single player game. Do what you enjoy with it. Doesn't bother me. All right, one hit. Thought life advice from Coach. <laughs> two hits. So we've done two hits. So we can't call in reinforcements. Five dollars, Buster. Rose. <laughs> Rose, thank you for the five hundred bits. Thank you, Rose. I appreciate it. Absolutely helps out. Thank you again. Play the game naked on Radiant for all we care? Yeah. Hey, count me out. I forgot to say hello to you. I looked up and saw your name in the atom box and I was like, oh, count me out's here. He got he's here from work. How are you gonna count me out? Hit number two. Yeah, thank you, Rose. Plans for the next challenge playthrough. Yeah, I'm gonna take a, a, a week or two break from Darkest Dungeon, and then there was one of two new challenges I'm gonna do. And they might not be as hard. We'll see, but they're uh, they're unique for me. I've never done them, but we'll talk about that if I I mean when I win. Thought the jester was useless. He's all, he's basically he's borderline required for this challenge. All right, uh, we're gonna heal, and then we're gonna kill. 
Classes only yet? Yes, I have. Twice. The con roof resistance when they are stunned? Yes. They do. Sorry, Hemuel, that I missed that. They can call in reinforcements. The, the thing about reinforcements, they don't actually call it in, so to say. It's completely based on how much you've stalled. All goals. Death of Torch's Blood Moon. Alright, first boss coming up. We're gonna camp. Get our, uh... Get our dodge up. A moment of respite. A chance so, 10 dodge, 5% crit. The coming horrors. No trinket run or one trinket? Yeah, people have done that. I have not done a no trinket, but I know it's possible. Also going to do unparalleled finesse. So, basically, repost is what we're going to kill the boss with. Our man at arms is here to save people's lives in this boss fight. And buff dodge. Uh, this buffs our repose like crazy. 10 dodge, 2 speed, 20% melee skills or damage, uh, 10 accuracy. And then we're going to do uh, weapons practice, which we hope. 8% crit hits on our high woman. And it didn't. 75% chance to get that 8% crit, and it didn't. Does no trinket include no torches? Yeah, it does. And people have done that. Alright, uh, boss number one. Let me check my skills. So you can change skills in a dungeon as long as you're not in a battle or camping. Okay. Am I going to use Rampart during this? It's possible, yeah. It's possible. Uh, I think I replace Crush with Retribution. So Retribution, Rampart... Guard is most important. Bolster. <laughs> Thank you, Phoenix. And it didn't. How are you doing, Captain Failure? How does the fight work with no trinkets and no torches? Um, I've done this fight with no ch no torch trinkets, and it is not fun. <laughs> it's an ungodly amount of damage and stress. Okay, these are fine as is. We're going to replace Slice Off with Finale here. Alright. Hey, Narth. We're about to do the first boss of Darkest Dungeon 2 right now. First of three. DD1 was last night, yeah. Which Narth? I think Narth. Yeah, Narth was here for that. Alright, here we go. So we're going to kill the polyps first. They also pull, which is scary. There's this. He's marked. Pull and push. Resist. Good. Uh, God, I'm... I have to holy water because if he uses the sniper, the sting move, um, it can crit for like mid-30s. If it hits him, it'll also apply a blight. So I'm going to use a holy water. We have the buffed holy water from the district, so it's 45% all resist. And we're going to go ahead and buff our speed actually crit. Caffeine, you're ready to roll. Um, I'm not going to use holy water on this one yet. We're going to get our repost going. These ones push and the puppies pull, right? So, the most important thing is that we guard her, so she doesn't- we only have three torch, uh, Talisman of the Flames, so we have to guard her. From mid-30s. There we go. Now, used to, you would take no stress with the- with this, but they changed it in color, when Color Madness came out, that your max stress relief is negative 80. So it still does 20% of its stress, unfortunately. Uh, we need to get him topped off. Fellow old folks. Oh, that's good. That's good. I mean, the tin blight is not good. Uh, let's get rid of that. And you know what? I changed my mind. Let's use that holy water. Oh, send your low. <laughs> Keep doing that, man. Oh, dodge, 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 dodge. Good, good, good. He's got 60 dodge. Come on. No dodge. It's okay, though. It's okay. Now we can't bolster up. The guard lasts two rounds. 
Uh, so we're going to get Bolster out. This is going to give us more dodge and less stress. A time to perform beyond one. Oh, it's Revelation. For a second there, I was like, oh no, there's the sting. Okay, big heal, please. Think, eh, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah, yeah, hit him. That's good. Yeah, 61 dodge. Uh, we need to refresh our repost. Perfect, Senior Low. Senior Low, carry us. Carry us. <laughs> Both polyps are dead. Uh, we need to regard her because this is going to run out. It's crit side, flip a coin, yep. He's got two crit. Uh, that's I specifically chose this Hyman for here because of his quirks. Good dodge. Sour apple rings, some sour pineapple rings that are medicated. So he has deadly, hard noggin, and precise striker. He's got plus 7% crit just from these. Alright. Uh, we don't need to refresh or post. A devastating blow. Come on, Bladed Wolf. Boom! <laughs> oh, finale. Ah. Alright. One down. Three to go. Alright, we need to remember to change our moves back. Thank you, Finale. It's easy. Just always crit and always dog. Okay, let me think about this. I don't think we need the recovery fight. Hard challenge. We've lost. We've lost challenges in these darkest dungeons. I'm trying to play as best as I can, but you never know about RNG. Um, there's a recovery fight here. I don't think we need it. I think we save it in case we have bad a bad fight somewhere else. One time I killed you in DD2. God. We've lost a lot of people in this dungeon. It's good. Yeah, I don't think we risk it. We, we risk more going to that reco recovery fight than we do just... Uh, we have our camp buffs. These camp buffs will last all the way to the next boss. The next one is the hardest one in this dungeon. It's, uh, two of the big guys. Yeah, the high one got me scared too, and... But I, I wasn't thinking. They always use Revelation first, um... And so, luck, you know, if that had been anything other than Revelation, he could have died. If any of those attacks had been a crit, he could have died. So, I mean, it, look, it looked easy and, and like it went well, and it did. But honestly, I mean, it wasn't completely stress-free, you know? Uh, we got plenty of food. Let's get him to full health. No reason to keep them anywhere other than full health. We got plenty of food. Hey, Kitan. Hey, Kitan. All right. Buff speed actually crit. But generous GT, thank you for the bits, GT. We got all of our camping buffs, so we do have a lot of dodge right now, a lot of crit. Got a repost up. Very good. We're hoping they do death lash. Death lash. We've been crit by death lash two or three times already, but a crit death lash does so much less damage than a crit finger. Ooh, okay. Okay, bolster up for more dodge. So we should dodge about 60% of moves now, 50 to 60. Let's see if we can stun here. Bypass death's door. Go right to a death blow. No, it doesn't. Wait a minute. Thank you, grunt work. Oh, good crit. Good luck, grunt work. Miss dodge. Good, good. Buff again. It does not bypass it. Uh, let's stun the guard off this. AACBA, first five. So these can crit for about 34 with bleed. If the finger crits, what? so the reason, obviously the, the finger critting does 1.5 times more damage, but it also is 20% more likely to apply the bleed, and the bleed will last five rounds instead of three. Um, he's at 36. We could heal him for seven. Is seven going to save him? 
No. Two hits screws him either way. So we go for a stun. Which is more likely to kill him? Crit finger is the most likely to kill him. So we're going to try to stun here. Okay. Death lash, good. Perfect. Even better. This is the second one, Alice. We did one last night. Okay, we got crit, so we're probably going to get stunned. We resisted. Lucky resist. Get our repost back up. Uh, even though the priest is the most deadly, a lot of times you just kill what you can kill if it's already low. So we're going to take that out, because as you saw, it can crit just like anything else. And um, I am going to go into... No, you know what? Let's buff one more round. This is not stunnable right now. I mean, not really. It's a 140 versus... So what? We got an 18% chance to stun. We can't kill with a crit either, though. Um, he's going to be able to get healed. So this can't kill anyone, right? Her speed... Yeah, she's going to go before it no matter what. So you know what? We just go for the 15% stun. Because it's not like we're going to do a lot of damage anyway this round. Or 18%, whatever. Okay. So no matter what, as long as I'm right about it, critting for 34. Death Lash, it's fine. Even better. That 60 plus dodge. Okay. Take this out, we can start stress healing. And then we're going to use every cultist we see, we're going to use for recovery. No matter how well off we seem to be. Uh, absolutely had it where the, you know, well, even this five stress could mean the difference at some point between a, an affliction um, or not, or a heart attack or not. So we have to hit him at least twice per round or he's going to call in reinforcements. And meanwhile, our Jester can just get everyone back down to zero stress. Yeah, I hit 99 stress last night even doing this, right? Every single cultist we got to on Darkest Dungeon 1, I got everyone back down to zero stress. And even after doing that, we still almost had afflictions. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to stall. This guy can't, can't attack. So he heals, he guards, and he can call in reinforcements just like anything, any size one mob if you don't uh, hit him. My stress level is above 100 last night. It is tonight too, honestly. Orem is dead. Sorry, Orem. There we go. So happy though. <laughs> Sauces from Domino's. Or a pizza with a dang store phone is busy. Not doing online ordering right now. Local place or? Yeah, it's the Gamer Fuel, yeah. It's the it's the tropical one. Is a, I think that Coldus is a good hero uh, haircut. Uh, I don't use him in these kind of runs other than early game. In early game, it averages a higher healing percent. Oh, I'm starting to like get like pains. Anyway. Um, it averages a higher healing percent at low level than the Vestal, but once you get Trinkets, the Vestal is much more, uh, more reliable. So I try to mitigate as much RNG in this challenge, but I, I like the Occultus. I think too few people use the Occultus in position 1 and 2. The Occultus has a very, very strong stun, and they can heal from the front line. So the Occultus does allow you to have more backline characters, and then traditionally backline characters have more reach, can hit more targets. So I think the Occultus is good. Just a little risky. Dominoes. No pain. I'm actually like having stomach pain. Good for supper. No, we just had uh, you know, a steak and shake since it's grocery day. Barbecue pork chops, mashed potatoes. I wish I had barbecue pork chops and mashed potatoes. How you doing, Lee? How you doing, Snap? Welcome in. Use the Colts in one. Yeah, I really like it in position one two instead of I mean it's it's fine three four, but I prefer it in one two. Alright. Another fight. Let's pay attention. Okay, buff, speed, actually crit. Doing great. Scary sometimes. Hey, devil dog. 
Death Lash is fine. We've been crit by Death Lash like maybe four times this dungeon. But like I keep saying, I'd much rather be crit by Death Lash than the finger. We get our bolster up so we have a higher chance to dodge. Stun. Yeah, stun and heal from the front line is awesome. No curios, any? No. Not aside from the um, ancestor chest to get a trinket. It depends on the route you go. This is only the second one, right? Or is it the third one? Depends on the route you go, Matt. I guess I'm picking a route that has more of them. Um, let's stun this one if we can. Twice, saw reinforcements. Uh, they changed the corpse one. So Lantern used to could do that to corpses, but then they, they patched it. Okay, buff again. I know, the priests aren't using finger very much, which is kind of weird, but uh, I'm not complaining. Let's see if we can stun this off. I wonder if it's because of our resist. I wonder if they're less likely to use it if you have high resist. 165% bleed resist. Good, he says. It's not guaranteed for Vestal when she crits. No, anytime anything, uh, anytime anything crits, it adds a 20% chance to it good crit so if you crit with anyone's stun ability it gives an extra 20 percent chance to apply same thing for any effects like uh a bleed or a blight for you and the enemy like that was a 20 percent additional chance to stun hey j ham good dodge get our post back up good crit Um, yeah, we'll buff. 68 dodge. Good crit. All right, we're good. Are we good together? <laughs> That's true. Hey, hi, Tal. How's it going? Welcome in. There we go. Good crit. Man, oh man. Senior Low is carrying this run, I tell you. Alright. Now we recover on this. And then on we go. The blood Good crit. The limbs obey. Still have our camp buffs for one more battle. Senior Low is a crit machine. He had 45%. Plus 45% crit. Momentum. Push on to the task Let's go from that. You needed. Left your channel open to lurk. Thank you, Hytella. Alright, the hardest boss on this one is right down here. Change our moves. Same thing, I'm going to uh, get rid of Crush for this. We're going to take Retribution, Stun, Guard, Bolster is our most important. And again, I'm going to replace uh, Slice Off for Finale. Alright. Nice shirt. Thanks, Big Trucks. Welcome back. Your steadfast Angels loyalty is Avalon. frankly appreciated. Avalon, thank you for the resub two months. Avalon, thank you for the continued support. Thank you for continuing to use your Twitch Prime here. There are six trillion live streams right this second. Could have used them anywhere. <laughs> Angels of Avalon, thank you again. Love and sandwiches, Avalon. Rely on us, how tired you were. I know that. All right, we got our camp buffs. We got our moves switched. Got our holy waters at the ready. Let's do this. Yes, six trillion and uh, six tri at least. Yeah, count me out. It was just the last time I counted. Last time I went through and counted all the streamers, it was about six trillion, I think. But I haven't counted it in a little while. All right, holy water on everyone. Thank you, Avalon. Buff our speed accuracy crit. Please let us get a guard in before revelation starts. Um, which one is deadlier? I think the Impaler is deadlier. Impaler's deadlier, I think. I feel like Stinger Stab, Crit plus Blight, and it has Reach. I'm pretty sure Impaler is deadlier than Warlord. I'm going to take out the Impaler first. How you doing, Hyrule? Welcome in. Crit. Been in months. Tasking tonight to focus on only this run. Alright. 
Holy water. Um, we need to guard her because she doesn't have the trinket. And women in small shirts with screen and microphones. Yeah, they're making bank. Yeah, Warlord bleeds. This one blights. And so my my thought is, since the Warlord bleeds and we have more bleed resist than we do blight resist, killing the one that blights first makes sense to me. Uh, her, we don't have to worry about the holy water. There is a slight chance we stun. Got it. The grocery list or something. Regulation. Just like me, basically. Good dodge. What's the accuracy? Does Revelation always hit, or can you dodge Revelation? I don't remember. Okay, buff accuracy, speed, crit. Come on, Senior Low, we need those crits, buddy. Okay, bolster up for more dodge. Revelation's 125 accuracy. Holy crap. You can dodge it. It's 125, though. Yeah, it's no longer a minus 100%. So if anyone's wondering, it used to be that if you had the Talisman of the Flame, you didn't get any stress from Revelation. But when Color Madness came out, they capped uh, stress at, at minus 80 for stress relief. All right, let's try to stun that one again. Find three harder. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> we dodged it with 70 crit. With 70 dodge. Keep on dodging, guys. Keep on dodging. Uh, Holy Waters are still active. Good crit. I'll feel much better when we get one of these down. Keep buffing. Okay, so we have to re-guard her. It only reduces, I don't know, Celica. I don't know why they don't do that. Well, uh, the reason why they don't do that, I think, is because of trinkets that give you additional stress because it goes kind of together. It's calculated together, so I don't, I don't know. So like, if you have a, a plus 20% stress trinket, it, it, you know what I mean? Like, it kind of... I don't know. They could do that, but... Dodge. Take... 200,000 years to count all 6 trillion. Good crit. Oh. Did he, uh... He didn't use Revelation? He's going to be at 8 health. Oh, we need a kill, guys. Right here. We need, we need this round to kill him. Good crit. Uh, no buffs. We got to kill him. Down to 4. She's still guarded. Okay. The greater the glory. Okay, was it all? Unicorn? Torment. Oh, two health. I think we go for revelation. Or not revelation, uh, finale. Oh, butt stallion. Two health better than zero. Come on, Bladed Wolf. 
And we use uh, food and camping to heal him up. Oh, I didn't crit! It didn't crit! 70% chance it didn't crit! We might have to let her take a revelation. We might have to let her take revelation. It's all I, I it's the only thing we can really do. I think that's what we have to do. I mean, we're gonna get a heal in, but. He has two actions. I'm not gonna stun him. The stun is not really a guarantee. Really? Okay. She didn't get hit by it. Torment. That's good. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. One more to go. Inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Oh, I'm glad I took that district. The food is extra healing from the food is gonna be like clutch. Alright, up to a recovery fight. I didn't death switch kamikaze welcome in. I'm sorry about not being as responsive in chat tonight, but I guess you know why. I usually read like every chat message, but not tonight. So. <sighs> I do an orchestra. Do not be afraid. I do Fluffkins. Pwn, by the way, how you doing tonight? Robert, how you doing? Replacement, good to see you. Sky Sentinels catching up. It's easy. Just always crit and always dodge. Simple. Blame me later. <laughs> it's a problem for future Adam to worry about. Okay, there's three. There's two fights and then the boss. Uh, we can't. We can't get our buffs back and to recover the rest of the way. There's a recovery fight right here. But when I say recovery fight, I just mean there's two zombies with them. They could still screw us over the non-zombies. So any other bosses left? No, this is it. This is it. Hey, don't be, come on. How you doing, Hidden? Alright, we can't. Oh, uh, moves, moves. Good lord. Thank god I remember those. That would have maybe been tragic. Okay, camp. Yeah, yard work done today. New blade on the lawnmower. I feel accomplished. It's a goal without hope. We feast. Uh, look at that. Look at that. No death recovery. God, he was at two health. Um, tactics for the dodge. Let's hope the crit actually hits this time. We want to see 13% crit here. Thank you. Thank you, Dark's Dungeon. And then we need uh, dodge speed, melee damage, and accuracy. We're down to three holy waters. The way is lit. The path is clear. Doesn't have its own music. How we lame. require only the strength <laughs> to follow it. <sighs> All right. So this is a recovery fight. Can you get ambushed? No. No. All right. Uh, why didn't you bring the Hound Master to this again? Stress. A couple. Well, it's a couple of things. The reason I didn't orchestra was, was two things. One, cause of stress, and the, the Jester is way better at getting stress down, targeted stress healing. But the other thing is I'm using dodge trinkets, and one of the problems with using dodge trinkets and stacking dodge is you don't have much accuracy because you can't use accuracy trinkets. Dodge, and so the Jester's. Um, the Jester's accuracy buff overcomes that uh, that part of having um, a crit of having 
no accuracy trinkets. That makes sense. Ooh, how you doing, fatty? Guarded, that's okay. In the bathrobes. <laughs> it's going buff. Powerful electronica. Good job, Senior Low. On the round, it's cast. It depends on which part of it. The crit. Um, everything aside from the speed counts that round. So if you look at his buff, it, um, it does m plus accuracy, plus crit, plus speed. Speed is calculated at the beginning of a round, but accuracy and crit works that round, if that makes sense. So the speed is going to help you on round of casting, but the other stuff will. Stun this off. Actually... Let's go for this kill. Roll bottom end. That's okay. She has like 165% bleed resist. That's okay. Got her. Yeah, no problem, Avalon. I just have them in a certain order across the screen. Be used. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. So I, if when I switch moves, I the order that you select your moves, the order they show up on your bar. So you can have uh, open veins be the first one, the bar, or whatever. And because I use hotkeys to choose my moves, one through four, rather than click, it's it's dangerous to put them on different buttons that I'm not used to. Um, so I put them on specific places. We don't want to kill these yet because I need to leave them up to recover. There we go. Good crit. No, I Junia's head, I think Sacred Scroll is way better. And I didn't bring Junia's head because she has Hippocratic. So Hippocratic's like a like a healing trinket. And then the flesh's heart makes sure because I look at what's gonna kill us, right? Like what is gonna kill us here? It doesn't matter how much healing she can do, it's the finger. It's crit the finger into a bleed death. So the heart makes it so she's less, she can, she can hit, hit by a crit finger and a normal finger without getting to death's door and without a bleed. I didn't last stop, welcome in. 201 hours, top 300. Thank you last stop. So now we recover. We're to find a list of hotkeys. Some of the hidden ones. See some speedrunners moving through the map. Hotkey and stuff like that too. Um, some of, So an odd thing about it is that there is a couple things that you can't do without a controller. Even on PC. It's weird. So when you're scouting, you're not able to start moving through the hallway. If you're doing keyboard and mouse. But if what speedrunners do... Because they use a controller, and with a controller, you can actually use a button on there to start moving through the hallway. So some things that speedrunners do are controller only, and I've done a couple speedruns of this game, and you have a controller plus keyboard and mouse in order to do that. I don't know about any other hidden keybinds. Remember one of those crit finger bleeds from last run? Yes. That's what, I mean, that's what's going to kill us, right? And that's the most likely thing in this dungeon to kill us, and so we prepare against it. And I, wor I work my way backwards from there, basically. Loved its mark, given the vestal trinkets. Yeah, hidden, absolutely. Not allowed to use hotkeys. Use one thrust silver? No, that wouldn't be fun. That wouldn't be fun. Gonna hang up Dark's Dungeon. Probably for a few weeks. Plan for the worst. Yeah, be surprised by the best. Afraid of fingers. Um, we got a little bit more stress we're going to cure. You, my friend, are rated E for excellent. DV. Have a return. You got your name back. Davey, thank you for the resub. 11 months, almost a year with Davey Crockett. Oh, Tier 2. Guys, if you could drop some love and sandwiches for Davey. Thank you, Davey. Appreciate it. So for anyone that doesn't know, uh, and Phantom, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it, Phantom. As long as you do two attacks per round, the enemies won't call on reinforcements. So I specifically left fights up with cultists so that we can recover on those fights. 
Here's Davey, doing like he do. How you doing, Davey? Glad you got your name back. That was a lot faster than I thought it would be. So cultists cannot attack you. As long as you attack them with, with two attacks a turn, two attacks per round, you can recover. That's one of the most important things in Dark Dungeon 2. You nagged quite a bit. Good. Our modest fellowship expands. Hey Dogma, how's it going? How's it going so far? Pretty good. It was scary on the last fight though, on the last boss fight. Firestones. Firestone! Thank you for the subscription. Guys, more love, more sandwiches. Firestone. Firestone, thank you for using your Twitch Prime here. The last time I counted, there was 10 trillion live streamers. You could have used your Prime anywhere, on any channel. But you chose here. You chose... Wisely, I hope. Anyway, Firestone, thank you for the resub. Or the, the Twitch Prime sub. More and more every time. Yeah, 10 trillion. Yeah, Twitch is blowing up, man. Biggest, uh... Biggest web website in the galaxy that we know of. <laughs> it's gone up four trillion since I got earlier. Oh. Hyperbole. <laughs> Aliens will start streaming soon. Yes. Generous bestowal. Davy, Davy, thank you for the back bits. Wait, does that mean they're they're bits because your back, or they're bits from your back, like like back hair, or back fat, back bits? That's not Arizona tea. No, the Arizona tea is ch is chilling. We just bought it. Hyper bowl, make it a phone call. A little of both. Uh, so this is a weird fight. What's up? What's up, North? This is a weird fight. So, the defensive growth, you need to kill it first. And the reason why is if it's one of the last things alive, it does some of the highest stress in the game. It does just stress your whole party over and over and over. Um, it, it is a really crazy, crazy thing to experience. Game fuel for your last bounty. Marketing is working. A few days after a sunburn. <laughs> terrible quote. Or my lady companions. Is that the quote that's terrible? Back me. High per bold. Get it? Alright. Speed actually crit buff. This is the one fight here. That uh, it's nice to have a, a shill breaker for. But uh, we don't got one. We don't got one with us. We can't have nice things. Let's get a repose going. Good crit. We did the second boss, but it was scary. I ended up having to guard someone aside from the Vestal. Let's get our dodge up. You passed? Congrats, Groundwork. I didn't know you'd know right away. Um, we had someone go to two health, and I had to guard them instead of the Vestal, which was a risk. And then Finale didn't crit. So it was not all fun and games, but we did it. We did it. Congrats, grunt work. High per bowl. E. A generous bestowal. Street Fighter shirt. Shoe on head. <laughs> Damn, you think we're the 100 bits? Yeah, Street Fighter 2. Yeah, getting the growth dead first makes this pretty easy, honestly. So he wants this hyper bowl. Shoe on head. Can we keep getting stunts? Oh, I don't know who that is. I don't know who shoe on head is. <laughs> I know what it is. Crits that are in your favor. Crit. 
the grill on the internet. Aren't we all? <laughs> Aren't we all? The crit. Let's play sometimes. Gotcha, Rose. High quality grill. Is that what those rappers are always talking about? Golden grills and stuff? Actually boxy. Is it really? Be wary. Triumphant. One fight left in Dark Dungeon 2. Three holy waters, man, oh man. Three holy waters. We used... We used nine holy waters in the other fight? Ooh. No, eight. So we used one of the first... Political rant YouTuber. Eat food, do skills. Skills, thank you. Skills, 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 skills. Okay, so we replace Crush. The move we're more likely to use, Retribution. Guard's most more important. More shall gather. More shall enter the fray. I used two on the first one, thank you. I thought I only used one, but that sounds right. Power, thank you for the host. Power, I appreciate it. Guys, welcome in from Power Stream. Sorry if I don't talk as much to chat tonight. It's nothing against you guys. I'm just, like, nervous and stressed and, and really concentrating. Going for it all tonight, Skid, yeah. All tonight. This is good. We're going to switch in Finale again. Hopefully it doesn't whiff. Did you just sacrifice Mr. Party in endgame? Uh, no it doesn't. It's not impossible. I've beaten... I've beaten the fourth Darkest Dungeon twice without a death. The feeling when Small Turtles realizes that that's not true. <laughs> is there a mod where every enemy is Tim Allen? I hope so. A generous bestow. Davey. Using bits guarantees he will see it. Pro tip from Davey. <laughs> Thanks, Davey. Let's do it. Didn't realize you could do that yet. Yeah. It takes like four hours, but we can do it. If we make we gotta make it there first. Let's one dungeon at a time. So the hounds can pull us forward. A generous bestowal. Davy. Yo, pure welcome. I'm pure welcome. Davy, thank you for the bits. <clears throat> Alright. When's the best time to use the holy water? The holy water is going to last a few rounds. It might be better to use the holy water while the pups are up, while the, the hounds are up. Yo, you're welcome. Young fans, send me comments about the phrase. Two man? I think I use it now. Ones that'll get targeted by the bleed blight, yeah. <laughs> Those are not hounds. Flesh hounds. I'm gonna use it now. I'm gonna use it on our Jester and on our High Woman. Don't pull her. That's okay, it's okay. She resisted. Good dodge, okay. Alright. That was lucky. 150, so, eh, you get a 60% chance to apply a blight. Holy water. Take out a puppy. Okay, we have to guard her from revelation. Give me dogs from Stranger Things. Yeah, I can see that. He didn't... He didn't use revelation. A please use revelation. Revelation does zero damage. <laughs> Alright, buff again. So now we're going to bolster so we get even more dodge. And that's our strategy. Dodge 60% of things. Are you asking it nicely? Wait, what are you asking nicely? Did I miss it? How you doing, Ignu? This is Dark Zone number two, yeah? 
Last, last boss of the second darkest dungeon, yeah. Want him to reveal himself? I do. Uh, Stinger shot crits for like. Always crit and always dodge. Simple. Stinger shot crits for like what? 27 ish? Right now, I'm going to pay a lot of attention. Sounds good, Ignu. Choose a revolution skill. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not all. I'm not all in. I'm not all here. I'm, I'm in the dungeon. Good dodge. Crit repose kill. Thank you, Senor Low. With your 70 dodge. This is good. Oh. Totally I can leave the dungeon yet. We haven't got crit by torment yet. Get a repose going again. Crit. Uh, we have to guard her again. Hopefully the puppy dies to the... Uh, Felation, okay. Thank you, Phelan. How you doing tonight? Hey, everybody. My name is Cletus. Perfect. Anybody want some cornbread? I can't do Cletus right now. <laughs> Let's dodge. I had a nice night out. I, I would have been carrying in the Darkest Dungeons, absolutely. Senior Low tonight, and then uh, Gurg last time. Uh... Let's use the holy water here. The crit. My birthday was April 23rd. Thank you, turtles. Last week's game of throats fell. <laughs> How you doing, Ampersand? I'll take that as a big compliment. Uh, let's get moved up for finale. How about it? Oh, 24. She's guarded. What's the chance at a crit? I mean, uh, at a stun. 42%. Come on. 62%. Oh, we got it. Got it. Revelation, please. Revelation. That's two! Two more to go! Two more to go! A lot of dodge and a lot of luck. Get me out of here. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> yeah, you're in this next one. Thank you guys. How you doing, Craig? Captain Obvious, welcome in. Thank you, Ruined. Straight to three? Yeah. There's no time for anything else. Uh, don't throw up. That's your job. Uh, turn the fan you on my feet. Uh, or die, it's on high already. I do it shoots. For a time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment below. Also, subscribe to the channel by clicking this button. It helps out a ton. And after all of that, be sure to check out the next video right up here. Of course, as always, thank you guys for watching.